the Kraft Program with Paul Whiteman and his orchestra, Roy Boggy and Ramona, Jack Fulton, Peggy Healy, Robert Lawrence, the Rondeliers, the Rhythm Boys, the Rhythm Girls, with Dean Taylor as Master of Ceremonies. And here he is. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're beginning tonight's musical, I won't say feats, in view of what we've all been through today, uh, tonight's Icebox Raid, with a new English tune, Peter Peter, played by Paul Whiteman's orchestra and sung by the Rondeliers. <laughs> I don't know whether to stick to radio announcing or take up fortune telling. Uh, do you remember last week, speaking of songs being named after motion pictures, I prophesied that before long there'd be a song called Little w- Women, I Love You? That was Thursday night. On Friday morning, our revered leader, that means Paul Whiteman, was called to the telephone practically at dawn, about 11.30, by someone who announced that he had a marvelous new song for Jack Fulton. Mr. Whiteman, with great presence of mind, asked what the title was. And the title, though I say it as shouldn't, is Little Women Like You. They didn't quite catch what I said, but they came close enough. And much as I hate to admit it, it's pretty good, and the orchestra's going to play it, and Jack Fulton's going to sing it. Now. Little women like you have made me realize what affection can do. Little women like you have taught me how to smile when there's trouble in you. You made a joy out of living, you with your feminine touch. You keep on giving and giving. No one can love you too much. 
and with angels help you. It makes me thankful for little women like you. Making up these programs, I imagine Mr. Whiteman must employ the old formula for a bride's costume. Something old and something new, something borrowed and something new. Uh, you've already heard something new, and my guess is that before the evening is over, you will have heard something old and something borrowed. So there remains only to announce that the band is now going to play Blue Room from The Girlfriend. <laughs>
have known you were temptation. You smiled, loving me on. My heart was gone. You were temptation. It would be In 1901, I was wearing my second pair of long trousers, uh, flunking algebra, and singing one of the big song hits of the day, the last line of which went, and we'll never see sweet Annie Annie more. Uh, so naturally, I wasn't surprised to learn from one of today's big song hits that Annie doesn't live here anymore. 
I knew that 32 years ago. Uh, however, it seems to be news to Ramona, who isn't even wearing her first pair of long trousers, and so she's going to sing it for you now. Here's a tragedy that happened on a side street When a fellow went to ring his sweetheart's bell He saw the shades were drawn And he knew his gal was gone He listened to a story That a neighbor had to tell And he doesn't live here anymore You must be the one she waited for She said I would know you by the blue in your eyes Checkered suit, fancy vest, polka dot tie You answered that description So you must be the guy Well, and he doesn't live here anymore And he doesn't live here anymore It's too bad you didn't call before She just bought a gown that ties with ribbons above Brand new shoes Pretty hat, the latest style glove. She looks so alluring, just waiting for your love. But Annie doesn't live here anymore. It was spring, there was romance in the air, and everything made for loving hearts to share. And there was she, just as lonely and as blue as she could be. Now that's the reason Annie doesn't live here anymore. You might have been the picture that she told She was all so faithful, a pitiful sight She waited for a letter that you promised to write A gentleman with a top hat called around the other night And Annie doesn't live here anymore program of this character, we ought to give you appropriate music for special occasions. And we've tried to maintain that as a definite policy. And on the whole, it's worked out very well. If our offerings haven't invariably been appropriate to the occasion we were celebrating, at least they've been appropriate to some occasions. Now, for instance, last 4th of July, we played a Memorial Day overture. On October 8th, when we celebrated Columbus's discovery of America, we had speeches in French and Yiddish. And I understand that Mr. Whiteman is now working on the Easter music for our Christmas program. Uh, this being, as you'll probably guess, Thanksgiving Day, we've decided to give you an appropriate musical selection. And by an odd coincidence, it is about Thanksgiving. Uh, you might call it a grand opera if you've never seen one. The title is Pilgrim's Progress 1933, and I believe it is about pilgrims. The roundeliers and the rhythm girls are the pilgrims. Goldie, who is still a good trumpet player, sings the role of Miles Standish. And John Mercer, the author, is an Indian chief of sorts. And here they go. We are pilgrims sailing across the sea. We're landing in America, the country of the free. We dropped anchor at 2.35 the clock. We had a trip, but thanks to our ship, we're standing on the rock. We made the trip in record time, we got a lot of fever. So send the boy out with a dime to see if it's in the paper. I'll gladly go out and explore, but I need someone to help me. I see an engine on the shore, and I'm afraid he'll help me. Afraid of me? Don't worry, child. I may be woolly, but I ain't wild. Why, I am Big Chief Loving Sam. 
the kindest engine in Alabama. How come you think I'm so outlandish? Well, scratch my back, says Mr. Miles Sanders. Now, why should you be up this way with your face all freshly painted? To welcome all you folks today and to say let us get acquainted. My tribe will make it pleasant, yeah, of welcome we have a good time. Say, if you're an Indian, then I fear that there's a darkie in the woodpile. However, Sammy, we like your land. We go for its peace and quiet. And even though it's our little second hand, if you come to terms, we'll buy it. Now, folks, I hate to hem and haw, but this is a thing to think of. We'll give you jewelry for your squaw and throw in a jar of kink out. Mm-hmm. That's a bargain, real and true. You honest folks, I can tell it. And anyway, the mortgage is about to do. I reckon I'll have to tell it. Hey, you young higher water, go fetch some fire water. I got Chief Whiteman in the banquet hall. Play us the rap to the Uncle Paul. <laughs> Oh, is Paul here to play for dinner? You know your band, you smart old sinner. The music is bound to be bright and pointy. Hey, Chief, how about another thing from the turkey? They went right through the soup and nuts till they almost broke their breeches. And now, despite all its and but, they're settling down to speeches. The first to rise is Big Chief Bing, and I do believe he's going to sing. Mm-hmm. Lend a little ear to my plea. Give me Philadelphia tea. Every day, my whole life through. Here's one of our favorite teas. My child is your child. Your child is my child. Captain Standish is thankful, too. We made the trip in one day, Pike Collie. Why, that ain't so. Wash you there, Charlie? Here's Mademoiselle Carlotta. She thinks she's pretty hot. My heart is singing bird. Stop! Does the singing go with the country, too? If it does, I'm glad to learn it. They'll ruin us with that hullabaloo. I think we had better return it. Now listen, you bought this place like honest men, and we promised to deliver. And we won't take it back again. I ain't no Indian giver. All this argument is a shame. Let's all go out to the football game. The Blackfeet are playing the Seminoles. <laughs> Well, look a here, anyway. After all, what is today? Thanksgiving, now I'm living. I'm living. Life is one green song. One green song. Boy, how I love you guys. Just can't tell how many things just can't go wrong. I want to see sunshine, smiles at me. Every day, the jubilee. Oh, thanks. Philadelphia brand cream cheese played a big part in today's Thanksgiving dinner. Yes, it did, all over the country. Let's take a look in at several homes and see just how Philadelphia brand cream cheese was used to make this Thanksgiving dinner the big success that it was. In Albany, Mrs... Eleanor, I want to congratulate you on those appetizers we had before dinner. What in the world were they made of? They stimulated my appetite so much that I'm... Why, Jean, it's a very simple mixture. Philadelphia brand cream cheese and finely chopped onions. With a dash of salt, pepper, and paprika spread on crackers. There you are. But when you make them, be sure to buy Philadelphia brand cream cheese. It's so fresh and delicious. In Santa Barbara, Mrs. You know, darling, that was the best dinner I ever ate. And I'm glad you enjoyed it. That turkey and the soup and the cheese and crackers and jelly with our coffee. It was a final touch to a fine meal. I knew you'd like the crackers and the cheese with your coffee. That's why I got Philadelphia cream cheese. I knew it would be absolutely fresh. In Miami, Mrs. No, I never had a more delightful Thanksgiving dinner. The turkey and the vegetables and that salad. No, that salad was wonderful. Tell me it's secret. Why, Mary, it was simple. Just fresh fruits and lettuce and 
Philadelphia brand cream cheese used as a base. But it was so good. Now, let's see. You said fake fruit and lettuce and Philadelphia brand cream cheese. Uh-huh. I'm going to remember that. In Milwaukee, Mrs. <laughs> Louise, that's a dinner I'll never forget. Boy, oh boy. Would you like it, Jim? Like it? Look at me now. <laughs> Don't I look happy? <laughs> yes. By the way, Louise, what was that fancy decoration on top of the pumpkin pie? That was new, wasn't it? Well, it was new to you, perhaps, Jim. It was just Philadelphia brand cream cheese, softened with a little milk and put to a pastry cheese. That was all, Jim. Well, it was a swell finish to a swell dinner. You see, Philadelphia brand cream cheese did play important roles in today's Thanksgiving dinner. This fresh, delicious cheese is a welcome addition to every meal. Say to your grocer when ordering, Philadelphia brand cream cheese, please. W-E-A-F, New York. Speaking of uh, pilgrims, you'll all be interested, I'm sure, to learn that there's a genuine Mayflower descendant in the Whiteman organization. Her name is Peggy Healy, and a direct ancestor of hers, Michael Aloysius Sailor Beware Healy, uh, came over with the pilgrims. <clears throat> the only trouble was he was a cabin steward on the Mayflower and had to go back, and so Peggy doesn't get any credit for him. Uh, however, that doesn't interfere with her singing, and we're to hear from her now. Puddinhead Jones, played by the orchestra with Peggy Healy in the title role. popular of the minor classics is the famous Serenade by Enrico Tazelli. It is music full of glamorous suggestions of moonlight, mysterious hooded figures, gondolas floating down silent lagoons past the balcony of an old palazzo on the piazza. In fact, I could say a lot more about Tazelli's Serenade if we hadn't changed the program at the last minute so that instead of the orchestra playing Tazelli's Serenade, it's going to play Smoke in Your Eyes from Roberta with uh, Bob Lawrence singing the refrain which practically ruins this announcement. Thank you. 
announced that the Rhythm Girls have just broken two world records. For the first time in, in the history of radio, a female trio has gone three consecutive weeks without singing Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf. And you won't believe this, but they're not even sisters. It just goes to show you what can be accomplished by hard work, plenty of outdoor exercise, and clean living. Uh, tonight, we shall hear the new champions in a number called Smoke Rings, which is all about smoke rings. In other words, the Rhythm Girls are about to sing Smoke Rings. Thank you. 
As a rule, we cook something very raucous uh, in the second half of these programs so as to excite you. Uh, but tonight being what it is, we thought perhaps it would be better to give you something gentle and soothing, something to go with your bicarbonate of soda. So the uh, Whiteman Orchestra is now going to play a special arrangement of Thurlow Lawrence's famous Indian melody by the waters of Minnetonka. <laughs> Fresh cream cheese, and to be sure of it, ask for Philadelphia brand cream cheese, which comes only in the three-ounce silver foil package with the name Philadelphia stamped in blue letters across the front. Philadelphia brand cream cheese is made exclusively by Kraft, and somewhere near you is a Kraft plant, no matter in what part of the country you may live. At these Kraft plants, the fresh, rich cream is received, is made immediately into snow-white cheese, is packed and sent on its way by Kraft's rapid delivery service to your grocer with all of its fresh flavor preserved. And so, to get cream cheese absolutely fresh, see that the package bears the brand name Philadelphia. Order tomorrow and taste the freshness, the fine flavor of Philadelphia cream cheese. This concludes tonight's craft program, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you each week by the makers of Kraft Phoenix Cheese. We cordially invite you to be with us again next Thursday evening for another hour of entertainment from Paul Whiteman and his orchestra and the brilliant Whiteman Ensemble with Dean Taylor as Master of Ceremonies. Same station, same hour. Don't forget, next Thursday night. This is Howard Claney saying good night. the National Broadcasting Company.